Okay, moving on now to um, eating and first of all we want to think about your position at the table and making sure that you can actually get up and down from the table um, easily and comfortably. First thing to think about then is the actual height of the chair. For some people find that their chair is so low that it can be a huge struggle for them to actually independently get themselves up and down from the table. What can be done though is dining chair can be raised using some razors similar to these. What this will do is bring the chair up to a more suitable height and will make it easier for Brenda to get up and down from the table. Now we've considered chair height. Do you want to take a seat again Brenda and we'll just have a look at a few of the items that you can use which will help with your eating. If you want to just move that plate for me. Underneath the plate we have what's called a Dyson mat and what this is is just a silicon product but it's non-slip so what that will do is it will help to secure the plate to the table particularly if you have well, just have one the use of one hand when it comes to eating that will eliminate the need for you to actually hold the, the plate it will keep it in place it can be used for a number of, of uses you can pop it under your pans if you're say mashing potatoes um, you can use it under items if you're baking all sorts of uses this comes in a preformed shape suitable for plates but it, you can also get it on a roll which can be cut to individual shape so if you needed to say place it on to the top of a trolley or a table. Okay Brenda's now going to demonstrate just the use of some adapted cutlery. There are lots of different types of cutlery available in the market. There are some with heavier handles, some with lightweight handles. These ones have a rubberized broader handle which allows ease of grip makes it easier for you to pick up food. The knife here also has, you'll notice it has a rounded edge to it. This allows you to cut food with a rocking motion which will make it easier for you to cut things without the, the need for such force and strength behind it. Also Brenda has on the plate here what's known as a plate guard. Again, useful for people who either have visual problems or for those who have a tremor or for those who have particularly one-handed use. What this will do is give you a surface against which you, the food can be pushed and it will maintain that rather than you chasing the food around the plate or indeed the, the food ending up all over the table. These stretch so they will fit to, as you can see it's fitted to a side plate at present but that will widen to fit to a dining plate and it's something which can be taken out if you're, you're dining out. Okay, moving on from the plates, we have a couple of cups here. Again, huge variety of cups available on the market. Um, the two we have here, this is a lightweight plastic cup and it has two handles. So particularly if you have a tremor, this will allow you to lift the cup, making use of both hands. And the other cup is again a lightweight cup. This is made of plastic and it is insulated so what that means is that your drinks will stay warmer for longer it is a deeper cup so it will hold the liquid in because you won't need to fill it as high as you would a standard cup it also has a broad handle on it which makes it easier for you to grip and to lift it